If the AC fan blower motor is rotating in reverse as it should rotate in the direction of the arrow. And this is I will tell you how the blower motor rotation direction is controlled. Now I have turned on the control board. The blower motor has started to rotate. But this blower motor is rotating in the reverse direction. When I stop the motor, you will see that it's rotating in the reverse direction, as the arrow is pointing towards the right side of the motor. Its rotation should be anti-clockwise, but it is rotating clockwise. Now I have removed the electricity. As the blower motor shaft stops rotating, you will come to know in which direction the motor was rotating. See, the motor was rotating in the reverse direction. If the motor rotates reversely, no air circulation will be made. Other than this, the fan blower motor will start to heat up. To control the rotation of the blower motor in the correct direction, you will have to do nothing with the blower motor. You will have to check the control board. Let me explain to you what to check on the control board. I am removing the connector of the blower motor attached to the control board. This is the connector for the blower motor. First, you will have to find the common running and start on the blower motor. Then you will have to check the common run and start on the control board connector. The capacitor points are easiest to check, which are running the starting points in the control board. Every AC blower motor has a capacitor installed internally in the control board or externally. It can be installed anywhere in the control board internally. Then you will have to trace the wires of the capacitor. One capacitor pin is this, and the other is soldered here. This capacitor pin is connected to the first point of the blower connector. On this pin neither phase nor neutral is installed, so it means that this is the start pin of the blower connector. Now I will find the run winding pin. You can see the neutral wire is installed here. The capacitor is installed with this neutral trace. This trace is moving further forward as well. The neutral trace is attached to this pin of the blower connector. It means this is the blower motor's neutral and running pin. The centered pin, it means is the common pin of the blower motor connector in this control board. Different companies could make the pin configuration different in the control board. You just have to find it on the control board, as I have traced it. The common is the phase pin. And after finding the start run in common. I already know that the common wire in the blower motor is black. The white wire is running. The red wire is the start wire. When I install this connector in the control board. As this white wire is the run wire. But it is making a connection with the start pin on the control board. That is why the blower motor was rotating in the reverse direction. So I will exchange the red wire in place of the white wire. The easiest method is to cut the wires and exchange them with one another. Other than this, let me explain to you another method. I have held the connector in the wise. I will press the wire installed inside the connector. It has easily come out of the connector. I will make the other connector out from the connector the same way. The red will go on the right. The white will go on the left side of the connector. The locks are fixed tightly inside the connector. I have installed the connector inside the control board. I will turn on the control board. Now it is rotating in the correct direction, which is anti-clockwise. I have turned off the control board. Now you will understand the rotation of the blower motor. See it was rotating in the correct direction. If the start wire is installed with the run, and run wire with the start, the motor will heat up. The motor will get jammed or will not work after some days. And this is how the rotation of the AC fan blower motor is controlled. Click on the left or right thumbnail to watch our next videos. And subscribe. It's free. Thank you.